As far as fashion and style in anime, I've received so many suggestions to check out the outfits within Bleach, which I personally haven't seen, but unlike JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, I know that it's much more accessible every day and within the street style genre a bit more. So let's go ahead and get into that. Hola, my name is X and I like to experiment with fashion as well as talk about whatever the hell I want on social media whenever I feel like it. And in this video, I'm going to go ahead and evaluate some of the main characters within the Bleach series, identify some of their personal style, and then see how that translates itself to some of the manga art in which they're depicted in. If you don't know what Bleach is, put simply, it's a manga series written and illustrated by Tite Kubo following the adventures of a teenager named Ichigo who obtains these powers and becomes a soul reaper where he he helps people from evil spirits, helps departed souls make their way to the afterlife, and is just going on a grand adventure into spiritual realms alongside others who have similar powers as him. I'm going to start by reviewing the uniforms of some of the more prominent characters, and I'm really just using this image as a guide for that. I understand that this isn't reflective of all the main characters, but I feel like it facilitates a sufficient enough exercise for us to identify personal style and how that translates to more of the regular wear that the characters are depicted in. And then I'm going to go ahead and review some manga art that I was able to track down. There's this website that I found that has kind of had it compiled. Sorry if your faves aren't included, is nothing personal. Now, without further ado, let's get into the outfit, starting by taking a look at the character uniforms and seeing if we can hone in on some of that personal style. Starting with Ichigo, I consulted his fandom page and it mentioned how he likes kind of slim or fitted clothing. And I feel like the version of his uniform where he's wearing like this long sleeve black top that brings in his waist really highlights that because it's definitely giving a fitted, more slim silhouette. Whereas with the standard uniforms, the wrap around the waist just leaves some extra fabric at the upper bottom body and kind of drowns out some of that form. So love this version of his uniform. And that definitely speaks to how he's differentiated from the other characters. You'll see that he's just styled in such a unique and prominent way, whether it's like the pattern that he's wearing, the color of his clothing, or just how he's layered with different elements that really just give him that main character energy. After really thinking about it, I think that the best word to describe Rukia style is modest. And that's not to say that she's conservative because she can definitely dress in a bit more of a flashier outfit with some feminine flair, but it's just not to the same extent as say Orihime or Yoriichi. It's just a l one level toned down. And I feel like we also just see that in her uniform where it's unassuming. It's not really a standout. It's not really giving any extra flair or taste or anything but it's she's still cool she still has style all the same for lack of a better word i would say that renji style is thuggish <laughs> really highlighting more kind of rugged or kind of tough bad boy kind of orientation to his character and his style once again his uniform isn't really like that differentiated, but I feel like more in a way that he doesn't really care and he doesn't have to care. And there's even one image of it where it's like hanging off of one shoulder, which just kind of really asserts that bold energy that he does have. And I feel like we really do see that in a lot of the other outfits that he's featured in. Laid back, but also like has a bit of bite to it. Orihime is typical cutesy, girly girl, feminine style. I mean, we see that in her uniform with like, it's really more even dress-like, kind of giving her some silhouette. And then also just with the pleated effect, we see that mirrored in a lot of the pleated mini skirts that she wears in some of her outfits. So I feel like that's really on the nose. Very cute and very lovely style, but easily identifiable. She's the cutesy girly girl. Grim Zhao's style is in the same lens for me as Renji's. It's definitely giving bad boy badass kind of style. And especially within his uniform, it's just like this kind of tornish crop jacket, so much body confidence. It just really screams tough guy. And we see that in some of the art that he's featured in the casual wear. It's just like strong, bold, in your face, don't mess with me kind of thing. So Toshido, the short king, I feel like he's giving suave. I don't know how I landed there, but there's just something so like smooth and suave about his style. The movement and kind of just the form and shape of his uniform just gives kind of like this fluid kind of move, like approach and vibe and just how he kind of 
Maybe it's also the facial expression, how he carries himself in all these different outfits. It's definitely cool, but just kind of like this extra bit of sharpness to it that is just kind of hard to put my finger on. Byakuya's style kind of reminds me of Uryu, where it's sophisticated, it's even elegant in certain regards, but I would say that he hits the nose for like designer level elegant or elite even. Like with the scarf around his neck and his uniform and just with the different kind of color palette, I just feel like it's a bit more classic, but elite is really just the best word. So maybe Maybe that's the keyword to kind of describe his personal style. And then Ukiyora's style, I feel like is just so out there, but in a contained and still practical way. I feel like it does echo a bit of Ichigo's, where he kind of has a similar shape and form within his uniform, with, with just a little bit of extra like, hmm, how would I describe that? It's just as cool, just as stylish, but in just kind of an offbeat way that's kind of hard to describe. All right, now that we've honed in on the personal style of some of these characters, let's pivot over to the manga art to number one, see how amazing the characters look in all these cool outfits, but then also to see how that personal style maybe surfaces itself within some of these different spreads. But just before we do, I did wanna call out a general trend that you'll see throughout the different pieces of art, and that is prints. I'm not usually a print guy, but the printed clothing is absolutely amazing, and it's done in an artistic way that makes you feel like you could touch the pattern, as if it has some sort of texture to it, which I love when artists use that kind of technique. But now jumping into the art, Starting with this image, I quickly want to break down how I described each of these main characters' personal style and how that's kind of featured here. Renji's just in the back, just nonchalant. He is wearing a tie, which kind of does give a little more sophisticated touch to the outfit, but it's over like a muscle tank. So again, speaking to that kind of like nonchalant, kind of like rugged, laid back style. And I know I didn't cover Yasutora, but You'll see in the background stylish vibe to him and he's actually usually depicted wearing some of the fewest pieces of clothing. It's just done in a more minimalist way. Orahime is looking cute with her apple bottom jeans. So it's just definitely given that like body, girly, cutesy kind of vibe just in her body language as well as her outfit. Rukia, like I told you, like she, it's just modest. Like she's kind of like there, but not there. She's usually like tucked away in a similar kind of thing with that similar body language. So it's just hard to describe her in that way. But let's talk Ichigo because he's giving us so much. First of all, his coordination is chef's kiss. The numbers on the sleeves of his jacket coordinate color-wise to that kind of like snake-like, rope-like pattern in the pants. The boots are so interesting and unique and they actually coordinate a bit with like the gloves he's wearing and the scarf. So I'm saying like, just with like the pattern or elements or coordination or he's giving us just something that's just so unique and differentiated from the other characters and is very stand out and distinguished. Quickly want to talk about this image because I feel like it surfaces a bit more of that personal style touch like I was saying. So I believe they're all kind of wearing the same base outfit, what might just be a uniform. But we see that Yasutoda is once again just like cool guy in the back, but with some accessories and like some layering. But it's just not done to the same prominent extent as Ichigo, who's obviously forefront. And Ichigo is giving us a strong pattern in the scarf, just a little more distinction and a little more highlight that draws our attention in to him as the main character. Orihime just is like cute, just like a nice more kind of colorful styled outfit, which definitely gives her some distinction as the female amongst the males in this image. And then Uryu, I think this is kind of like a good starting point to highlight that his is a little more of that sophisticated buttoned up look. He's more covered up. Looking at this image to once again highlight pattern and Ichigo's suit is everything. I love the pattern. I love the color, how the kind of limish tie really pops against that somewhat more rich purple tone of the suit. And I feel like there's just great use of color here to also highlight some other prominent characters, but it still doesn't feel like it completely takes away from Ichigo, even if he is at the side. This image especially, I feel like highlights the character's personal style because there's just such limited differentiation in the specific clothing pieces. It's pretty uniform for all of them. But Ichigo, outside of just being really prominent and in the forefront, 
His is slightly unzipped, but has a t-shirt underneath. So that's already different. We're getting some layer, but it's fitted and it's clean. And then Renji, I told you, it's like thuggish. Like this is like, he's like the rapper of the boy group. You know what I mean? That's what he's giving here. Unzipped, tattoos, full chest. But Uryu, once again, the jacket's zipped almost all the way to the top. Still wearing his glasses, still can fit the boy group kind of like theme but it still feels a little more put together than the others. I love this image because everybody has a print in some capacity. Orihime love her skirt. So again, once I, I knew like skirts are her thing and especially just like with wave and shape, it's not fully pleated, but I think there is a slight pleat there. Knee high boots, already a bias. Yosutoda has the pattern in the striped pants, but overall he's just like chill and cool in the back per usual fits his style. Uriu is more buttoned up in this, still fits the kind of casual laid back outfit theme they have going on here, but it's just really like the cardigan and just with a little less of the hoodie taking up the space like it does in the other characters' outfits, he just feels a little more slightly formal. But like what really signifies Ichigo as like the main character here, I think is the color of the blazer. Red is already a bit of a standout and a pop. The other characters don't quite have like a pop bold color like that. So that already draws some attention to him. And then I like the belt, how it hangs off. That's where he gets his pattern coming in. And it does feel a bit more fitted, even if the hoodie is a bit baggier. The blazer fits, feels a bit more fitted. The pants feel a bit more fitted. I swear, I love these images because they can all be featured in pretty much the same thing, but it still just gives some subtle differences. Ichigo giving us fitted because that t-shirt isn't maybe a complete crop, but it's pretty fitted if it's right at his waistline. And that's just where that differentiation comes in along with a brighter color that pops on the t-shirt. So we are looking into him even if he isn't completely in the forefront. Uriu, once again, very buttoned up, just layers and clothing pieces and accessories that just highlight that he's a little more of that sophisticated angle to things. Renji looks kind of tired, but his kind of rugged bad boyness comes through just in the bagginess of the clothes. We're just getting a bit more weight and presence with the length of the shirt. And then that scorpion pin really just kind of gives that sharpness to him, even if maybe the rest of his outfit isn't completely giving all of that. This image just screams cotton commercial. Like they can smell the sea breeze scented fragrance situation going on here. I told you, Rukia, she's like always tucked away or like she's there, like we know you're there, but it's not always full front. Ichigo, once again, it's that popped collar for me. He just, he, whether it's like a subtle detail that just kind of shows like main character, yeah, he's forefront, but just with like even the design on the popped collar, it just gives that extra bit of distinction to his look. Yasutoto, once again, being tough, cool, and just carrying the umbrella, I just feel like, feel like further accentuates that. I'm pretty sure that's Uryu far in the back, getting things together, being responsible, being put together, and even the look just looks a little more buttoned up per usual, so we already know who we're working with. Of course, Orihime looking cute with her wide brim hat and then the dress, which gives lots of flow, roundedness in the skirt, very call back to her uniform and a lot of the other kind of skirt like looks that she wears. And then Renji's differentiating piece here is the hat. Touches on more of that kind of laid back down to earth. I'm obsessed with this image. I live in New York, so that's a huge bias towards like genuine street, underground, urban style. Ikaku with the hood that just gives that kind of like mysterious in the shadows, a little more darker kind of touch. Renji with an all black look. Looks like a leather jacket. Bad boy, rugged, you already know. Yasu Toda with the basketball, like he's just so cool. But here we have Ichigo touching on everything that I discussed that really sets him apart. We're getting color, color in the hoodie that he's wearing. We're getting print, print in the pants, and we're getting accessorizing with, I'm pretty sure those are earmuffs. They could be headphones, even cooler if they were, but just love how that coordinates with the color that he's wearing in his hoodie. So he just has all the ingredients for a main character, especially in this image. I love this image because it's giving like team fighters, like Power Rangers, team Titans, like a band of like superhero type thing. What I love about Ichigo's here is it's darker. Usually when he's around the other guys, 
he has like something a little lighter to kind of give him that separation from the rest of the bad boys. But here he is the bad boy. So his color palette is darker than everybody else's and has that touch of orange on it to really just stand out with that kind of fiery presence. Udiu once again, and I think it's really just the white coat that helps touch off the sophistication, maybe as well as the color choice, like green, earthy, like healing, like put together. I don't know. I'm just making that association. And I feel like if we were to compare Orihime's with Rukia's outfit, like similar dress showing some leg, but Rukia's has like these sleeves to it and she's just covered by the big magic orb or whatever. So it's like, she still just is a little more covered up and modest compared to Orihime, who's just as covered up, but has more of those kind of like cutesy, frilly touches, like the scarf and just the thigh high boots, just to give the extra punch of femininity. I really love the vibe in this image and I love literally what everybody is wearing. I wish we got a little more of Yoruichi in here, but we still just get a sense of the sassiness that she kind of has in her outfit, especially with a little bit of that side boob going on. I'm telling you, Uri's coming up with that like, buttoned up put together because he's the only guy wearing a long sleeve and I just love his color palette it's just like fresh it feels a little more innocent among the kind of more forlorn kind of gaze that the other characters are looking and their body language I love the pattern in his pants it's just so excellent of course we have Yasu Tora in the back shirtless so like that's on trend and on theme for him green for Renji is a little bit different I feel like it softens him a bit because he's tucked away and just his body language it still gives more of that line of laid back like mm, kind of attitude of course Orihime if she's not being given like this cutesy like legs and like skirt situation she has to give some chest so we're definitely getting that here but i think the color palette is also pretty soft for her especially with the pink that we see coming through in what probably is like a skirt or dress situation but i am over the moon about ichigo's outfit and why it really helps him stand out as the main character once again number one he has a scarf that's already pretty prominent the cut in his shirt goes a little bit deeper and it's sleeveless which gives him some presence especially being more in the forefront and some of that body confidence love the purple pants i'm obsessed with them i want a pair of my own but i think what really helps him stand out is the white in the top the other characters are all wearing some sort of color or some sort of shade and while they all have white in like their head wraps his, the white in his shirt just really brings us into him and especially with the colors above and below it just to really help complement and bring up that angle more just helps him stand out the body language is just so stand out he is the main character period love this image as well and it features a couple of different characters that i had a kind of a hard time putting a finger on it i'm more so focusing on ichigo and rukia here ichigo is giving us that fitted outfit like we've been talking about especially compared to the man next to him who's just bigger broader getting giving a bit more layers just a bit more fabric going on but we see with ichigo that he's just a little more sleek a little more minimalist but just with the right accessorizing going on to kind of give him that focus and that distinction but rukia once again even though it's a cutesier kind of depiction of her it still is just like we don't get the full picture of her it's just so interesting to me but it's a cute like that we can tell she has style it's well coordinated she has just as many accessories as everybody else but like we just don't see the full her i don't it, i don't know what that is but i really love the monkey in her beanie and i love the print of her scarf so we get a little bit more of her in this image at least now this is an example of where Ruki is giving a little more of that tomboy she's definitely feminine modest orihime is covered up here too but it's that typical like you know she's wearing a skirt but let's talk about ichigo because that shirt i want it the prints the color it's just so stand out and he's really shining through. And Yudiu, per usual, just looking very sophisticated, buttoned up on par. I feel like this image is another great example of how color is really helping Ichigo stand out. That red is just so prominent, loving the long jacket. It looks fitted, like it could have looked baggier and wavier, but no, it looks like it's just really fitting his form and his silhouette nicely. Orihime, of course, looking cutesy, especially with the perked up body language. Once again, Rukia a little more tucked to the side, kind of modest per usual. We're getting a little more of Yasu Tora in here, a bit more of his face, but it's like he is once again wearing the least amount of clothing, maybe competing with Rukia in that regard. 
but it still is just like cool guy essence that he's giving off. You can tell from Uriu that his jacket is buttoned all the way to the top. It's just, I just love how this is so consistent. And I love when Renji's wearing like the fur lined hooded kind of jackets. It reminds me of like black puffer jackets in New York, which is very street, very urban. And his outfit just overall just looks the baggiest. So definitely on par with his style. This is another good one. I mean, outside of just the body language is clearly positioning them for their kind of characters. Once again, Rukia just feels tucked away. I'm just gonna keep saying that because it's true. Like she just is a little more tucked away while Renji's still kind of prominent in terms of his body positioning. And once again, we're getting fur-lined. He loves those fur-lined hooded kind of jackets. But I love Ichigo's variety of color here. There's just some different kind of coloring in the boots or the shoes. And while it kind of does match back to his white shirt, the white shirt has a little bit of red in it. The pants are like this kind of washed out plum color and the jacket's like this fresh blue. Like he just has color and patterns that really work to position him effectively. And we see that carry through once again here. And I'm gonna break this down a little bit differently because no surprise to see Rukia in the corner, a little more tucked away. But while the other characters are all kind of wearing these like sophisticated suits and it's definitely a general theme here, Ichigo and Renji are obviously standing out to me. And Renji's a little more colorful and actually the most colorful. And while that usually would highlight them as the main character, there's something about Ichigo that actually works in a kind of contrasted way than how he's previously depicted, where the suit feels a little darker, but it's definitely more of a formal GQ level sophisticated suit. But it's the shirt, there is no tie, there is no other kind of accessory going on. It's just that shirt is just so bold, so prominent with the pattern and really pops against the darkness of that suit. And so again, while Renji has a lot more color, is also just as kind of like suited it's just in a different way and it's a little more casual because of the hoodie that he's also kind of wearing underneath the suit jacket. And I just feel like that is what reinforces Ichigo as like the main one in this image. If, even if you were to line them all next to each other, I feel like we would look at Ichigo in a different way than everybody else. So I want to break this image down because we're getting a couple, because we're getting a few other characters and I definitely talked about their personal style and I feel like that manifests itself here. So let's talk about Grim Zhao. He's actually taking the fur lined elements in the jacket away from Renji. I said how their style is kind of different with like that, that bad boy, badass, rugged kind of style, but he's definitely giving a bit more of that. He doesn't have any sort of decoration around the neck. So he's just giving more of that open, confident bravado a little bit, even if it's overall a covered up outfit. Well, Renji goes a little bit lighter. It's still a muted tone, but it feels just as casual just as laid back, but I feel like still kind of falls in line with his style, especially with the body language and some of the layering going on. But Yakuya, I said how I feel like it's similar to Uriu and Uriu would wear something very similar to this, but there's just how the scarf is wrapped around the neck and tucked into the shirt in a way that I feel like Uriu would still have it out and a little more wavy. So it's just giving a little more of that polish and a little more of that elevation in Boyakia's style compared to Uriu. And then Ukiyora's outfit is different. <laughs> Once again, I said unique. The color is just so different. We are definitely drawn to him. I don't think he outshines Ichigo, but my eyes are definitely going there. I'm just like, that's so unique. The pattern in the scarf and how it's wrapped, just how the green really pops against the black base. It's really interesting and it definitely sparks my curiosity. And I did say how I feel like his style is on par with Ichigo's, but what makes Ichigo's really stand out here is the red once again. He's just bright and bold and leading with that red. The pattern in that blazer is absolutely everything with a black lapel. It's just so differentiated. And even though the sweater that he's wearing underneath is long, it feels like it's still fitted because it wraps comfortably around his um, lower torso and his legs. So I just feel like we're still getting that fitted vibe, even if there's a lot of different layering going on with his outfit. I'm loving the preppy vibe here. And we definitely see in the attitude and the vibes from the characters that they're staying true to their personal style. 
Rukia, I'm telling you, like, she just has so much fluidity in her style that is just so interesting. But I'm glad that we get a bit more of her and she doesn't feel so tucked away. No surprise to see Orihime within her kind of cutesy skirt, bright, fun colors, a little more upbeat body language compared to the rest of the characters. I feel like where we're getting the ruggedness from Renji in this case is just that the sleeves are rolled up. I feel like if Ichigo had a long sleeve shirt, it would just be completely long sleeved. Uriu would obviously completely have the long sleeves and buttons all the way to the top with his shirt. But why I feel like Ichigo does stand out barely a bit more from Renji in this case is like pretty much predominantly white outfit. That already alone I think differentiates him while the characters have a bit more color in theirs. And then he has little touches of pink for a little extra playfulness in color and it's those small details that just kind of make you kind of look like, oh, what is that? What's interesting here is that while Red has been used to highlight Ichigo as more of the prominent character, Red is actually featured within the other characters, which makes them a little more uniform, which then brings attention back to Ichigo as the one who's different. I was about to say Toshido almost gives me more of the main character energy. He just has more interesting elements going on just a bit more kind of like details and styling that's a little more fun and definitely catches my attention. Renji is clearly giving us a little bit more of the chest underneath that scarf around his neck. And he's just as like clothed and dressed as nicely as the others, but it's just a little extra kind of like looseness in the layering and the styling that gives him a bit more of that ruggedness and laid back vibe. Let me know what you think about how I assess the character's personal style and if you think I was accurate or if I was way off base because once again I haven't watched the series but I'll definitely plan to eventually and let me know what you think about the manga art that was especially a good time of course there will be more analyses coming within different video games tv shows animes whatever but till the next video I'll talk to you later